Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. I'm here today to show you a really cool media room implementation that uses the latest Martin Logan Motion Series. If you've followed our videos, you know that I often showcase unique theaters that we've installed. In this case, I'm going to show you something totally different than you've seen before. Many homeowners would love to have a great audio room and a great Atmos surround sound system, but they often don't have a spare room to build a dedicated theater. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we set up a fabulous audio and immersive Atmos system in a more traditional living room concept. If you're thinking about building your own theater or just love to learn how to solve room challenges, you're going to love this video. Now, let's get started. This room is part of the Smart Home Experience Center in our Raleigh showroom, so it presented some very common living room challenges, including glass where side speakers would normally go, as well as a high-pitched vaulted ceiling where Atmos speakers would normally go. We first mapped this room in our free home theater design tool at audioadvice.com. If you're building your own room, this is a great place to start to see how your room would lay out with your dimensions. Then our experts modified the design just like they do with our store and online customers to adjust for the glass and vaulted ceiling. We'd been working with Martin Logan on the launch of their new motion series and knew it would be ideal for providing great two-channel audio in this room and solving our room challenges to give us great immersive spatial audio as well. The left and right speakers are the F200 tower speakers that are part of the XT Motion series. This is the top of the line model and as you can see they just look so striking in the gloss black finish. Martin Logan also offers a walnut and satin white finish as well. Okay, these have the larger Gen 2 Obsidian Folded Motion XT tweeter with the mid-range using that cool Nomax reinforced Kevlar driver with three 8-inch aluminum cone woofers. The folded motion tweeter design works somewhat like an accordion. The super thin film folded diaphragm squeezes air and requires almost 90% less excursion than a dome tweeter which drastically reduces distortion. You get a wide yet very controlled dispersion pattern with this driver which gives you an amazing soundstage for both two-channel listening and spatial audio. So one of the things I really like about these speakers is they actually have a downward firing port unlike a lot of traditional speakers. If you look at this image you'll see traditional speakers that are playing a port in the back. It makes it really challenging to be close to a back wall and you have to be pretty thoughtful about it. Whereas these because they fire downward you have a lot more flexibility in where you place them relative to the back wall. And I just love the way Martin Logan set up the outriggers for these guys. Take a look at how easy it is to get them locked into level with this simple turn from the top. It also makes them really stable which keeps the image rock solid even during passages with a lot of bass energy. The 90 degree horizontal dispersion pattern on the tweeter covers every position in our seating area for this room which is ideal for a setup like this. In addition, we have acoustic panels on the side walls and behind those speakers as well. Because the dimensions of this room are such that there's a lot of echoes that naturally happen in this room, we used a mixture of absorptive and diffusive panels throughout the room to make sure that we got the right acoustics in the room. Okay, so one of the things I want to do is take a second to talk about the center channel because it's so important because it brings all the dialogue to you. This is a killer center channel. There's a few things I really like about it. One, it's got the Gen 2 Obsidian folded motion tweeter that matches up with the towers we talked about. It also has the matching mid-range uh, woofers, which are the Kevlar Nomex reinforced. However, there's a couple interesting things from it. One, this is an anti-lobing design. It's a two and a half way uh, speaker, meaning that one of these drivers crosses over at 1300 hertz and the other one crosses over at 2500 hertz. What that does is makes it so you don't have lobing effects in the seating position. Really, really cool design. The other thing I want to point out is if you look, you'll see it's angled on the top here. You can actually turn this if the seating position were much higher than the speaker, flip it and the speakers will point upward. In our case, we laid it on the other side because it plays straight at 
the listening position. So you can see here that as you come in the door, the room's actually controlled by a control for a panel and full lighting control, so you can set different scenes. But actually, once you're sitting, all that can be controlled from one single control for a remote. Now let's talk about some of the challenges of this room. One of the major ones is this glass opening and door as you enter the room. So there's no place to put the side surround. So we have to go with what we can do in the room. And you'll see, so we put the surrounds in the back corners of the room, which is sort of step one. The other problem we've got is if you look up, you see we've got this high vaulted ceiling, which creates a whole nother challenge. So let's go to the front of the room and take a look at how we solve that. Okay, so we have rooms like this where you've got a vaulted ceiling and you really don't have a good way to put in ceiling speakers in. The Motion series has this killer speaker called the MP10, which is its multi-purpose speaker. This particular speaker can be mounted um, actually on a wall straight in as a side surround or rear, but in this case, it's got a 20 degree angle. You can simply mount it, and what we do is we go into the Anthem 1140 and set these as on-wall height speakers, and they play exactly straight at the listening position. So you've got the same Obsidian Folded Motion tweeter with this 90 degree angle, and I'm telling you, anyone who listens to it in this room goes, oh my gosh, even though these are so far forward, they're a perfect position for height speakers. We then placed a matching pair in the rear for our rear height speakers. Since we are unable to place side surrounds because of the glass door sitting on one side, we actually took a pair of the MP10s, put them up to the sides of the seating position and played them down, which actually solved as a perfect solution for getting that side experience. To pull this off in the Anthem 1140, we actually had to do something really interesting. The Anthem 1140 requires you to have seven bed layer speakers if you're gonna put six in the ceiling. Well, we only have five bed layer speakers. So what we did was we actually set up seven as if they were there. So it's basically two extra speakers that we weren't gonna use. We ran it through Arc Genesis with six ceiling speakers, including these sides. Then when we went back into Anthem, we took out the two speakers, that allowed us to have the entire bed layer that was the five in this room, plus the six up top. Pretty cool solution. Again, if you run into a challenge like this, we have experts in Anthem. We would love to help you solve any problem you've got like that. Now I have to say that using these MP10 speakers outperforms the vast majority of in ceiling speakers that most homeowners are using. Plus, they have the added benefit of aiming the entire speaker directly at the listeners, which has a substantial acoustic advantage over most in ceiling speakers, and you can definitely hear it in this room. If you're designing your own theater and trying to work through decisions like this, which are extremely common, first, go put your room dimensions into our free home theater design tool. Then you can fill out what you think you would want for your theater, including speakers, television or projector, number of seats, et cetera, and it will calculate where everything goes for you. Then talk to our team in one of our showrooms or over the phone about your specific situation, whether you have an open back, glass on the sides, or anything unique like that, and we can help you nail your design to optimize your specific room. All right, so we put two Martin Logan Dynamo 1100X subwoofers, one in each corner. To be totally honest, before we put the subs in and we played it with these three woofers in the main speakers, most people would love it even without the subs, but obviously you can never have too much bass and too many subs. So these particular subwoofers, by the way, can be downward firing, or in our case, we set them up to be forward firing. They have Arc Genesis built in, meaning that you can use Anthem's room correction on them. And if you've watched the videos I've done on how to set up subs, you know the first thing you should do is set up the calibration on the subs first, then go do the whole system in the receiver itself, which is what we did in this room. So let's talk just a little bit about video. You know, in this room, there was really no place to put a projector and we actually can't get speakers in the wall behind it. So it was ideal to go with a television. By the way, if you're trying to figure out in your room, if you should do a projector or television, we actually will link in the description a video we did to help you decide which one works perfectly. But in this room, a television made sense. This is actually a Sony XR100 X92, which is a 100 inch diagonal, super bright television with full LED backlit array. So it's an incredible television. Now, let's go do a couple of demos and show you how this room sounds. Okay, so now I'm just gonna play two quick clips. One is gonna be Six Underground, which is just on Netflix, it's Atmos. Um, we've got our binaural mic set up and just let you listen to a couple seconds of it and get a sense of how immersive this is. I'm gonna go ahead and click play here and just let you enjoy it for just a second.
Okay, so hopefully you got a sense in there of literally as the fighter jets come through, you can hear exactly where they're coming and feel the power of them coming through. And then every single shot coming here in this last little scene, it's quite impressive. Now let's jump over and let me show you the other thing you can do. If you're sitting there and you just want to enjoy music, you can literally go into your system and say, I'm just going to use Spotify here. Click on Spotify, start playing and choose in Spotify Connect to go to the anthem and suddenly you've got incredible two-channel playing in here and just enjoying music in the room. When we were done testing, we set up this room with two profiles in the anthem. One that uses just the left and right speakers for stereo listening and the other that uses all the speakers for full Atmos and DTS movies and music. We are using an Anthem 1140 surround sound receiver in the system, but for fun, we put in an extra Anthem MCA 325 three channel high performance amp to run the front three channels. And then we use the 1140 amplification for all the other channels. Usually we do this type of setup if you have more channels in the system than you have amplification in your receiver. However, this receiver can process 15 channels plus the two independent subs and it has 11 amplification channels. So that was not an issue in this case. The other situation where you might add an extra amp is like in this case where we're setting it up to show a situation where a customer really wants incredible stereo listening as if they have their own stereo separate system in addition to a surround sound system. When customers are thinking about adding extra power, we typically will add it to the front speakers and use the receiver's onboard power for everything else, thus giving the fronts, which are used the most, the best possible setup. If you're considering purchasing an Anthem receiver, processor, or amplifier, check out the links in the description where I review them in super detail. Another thing we did for a couple of people on our team who are new to Audio Advice, we did a demo with Art Genesis Room Correction turned off, then we played the same scenes again with it on. Even after having been an Anthem dealer for over a decade, it still amazes us every time we hear how big of an improvement Arch Genesis does in most rooms. We find that most people prefer to increase the room gain or deep bass boost a bit in their Arch Genesis calibrations, which was also true in this room. I cover how to do this in my Arch Genesis setup video that we send out to all Anthem buyers, which teaches you how to get the most out of your Anthem and Arch Genesis. In the video, I show you exactly how to set up profiles, run room correction, and then make the key tweaks for the best sound. The sense of immersion with all of the Martin Logan speaker drivers being matched up is really incredible. If you want to learn more about these Martin Logan motion speakers, you should watch the full overview video I did on the series that should give you everything you want to know about them. Okay, so the first big takeaway from this project is that you can take a room with a lot of challenges and with the right speakers, receiver, planning, and calibration, turn it into a great audio and movie room. Second, you can design a room to have high performance audio as a key component and still have full Dolby Atmos immersive sound when you want it. If you're thinking about building your own media room or home theater room, check out our free home theater design tool, buyer's guides, inspiration gallery, and home theater showcase videos at audioadvice.com. Our team of audio and home theater experts would love to help you out with your system. We offer a price guarantee two free day shipping and superb lifetime support. If you enjoyed this video, I would encourage you to like it and subscribe so that you don't miss the latest and greatest audio and home theater content as we roll it out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.